I started to play football when I was uh, six years uh, in Bucharest. When I was young, I was always uh, watching, of course, the big clubs from Italy, you know, like Milan, Inter, Juventus, when they were playing in uh, in Champions League, because Italy is one of uh, one of the championships. So when my agent told me about Italy, I was really happy that I could come to, to a big championship to play, you know. That was also my dream, to play in top five uh, championships in, uh, in Europe. So I was really excited to play against uh, big teams, to play against big players. A city with a vast cultural and artistic patrimony where ancient arts have been handed down over the centuries. Empoli is renowned for its important manufacturing tradition, ranging from glass to furniture and above all to clothing. Dotted with elegant shops, this Tuscan city gives its precious traditions a distinctly modern edge, a flourishing activity in an evocative setting. My passion for football started also from, from my father because he was ex-football player. He played also for Steaua Bucharest. So I think uh, yeah, I was in my blood. Empoli, three chances in quick succession. Every time when I finish my games, maybe I'm uh, angry, maybe I'm sad, maybe I'm happy, it depends also how the game is going. I think my father is the first person that uh, I talk to on the phone. He will always give me some, some advice. Sometimes it's hard on me and I think he, he always was hard on me, but maybe also that helped to achieve this and to arrive at this level. When I came uh, in Empoli, I was really happy because uh, Empoli did really well. They were playing uh, really nice football, really enjoyable football. So uh, I was excited to come and uh, to play in a club that builds a really nice uh, football. With the club, I feel really good. Uh, everyone in the club is the same like Italian people, you know, they are trying to to help you, they offer you everything that you need to perform, you know, at your uh, maximum uh, potential. Empoli is a nice city, like cozy. Also the fact that Empoli is most for my baby girl, it's important and it's a good uh, environment, let's say. She can grow up here for the moment, you know, because Empoli is like a safe city. I lived in Bucharest, I'm from Bucharest, so I know what means a big city. I lived also in Amsterdam when I was in Ajax. Of course, the big cities offer you some advantages, but I prefer to live in a small city like Empoli because I think everything is easier. You can be more focused on what you have to do, and that, that is football, you know, trainings and, and games. I can arrive quickly everywhere. When I have days off, I can go like uh, 30 minutes outside of Empoli and I can enjoy my free time with, uh, with my family, you know, relaxing or doing uh, something else. During the spring and during the summer, we did a little uh, tour here in Tuscany. I really like the Borgo, no? Like Agriturismo. And I think the life in uh, Tuscany fits really well uh, my lifestyle. If you go outside of Empoli, like 10 minutes, 15 minutes from Empoli, it's like the countryside where you... If you just want to relax with your family or friends, you can just rent maybe a villa or to go in uh, one hotel. You can just chill out there. Yeah, in Tuscany in general, it's really nice to go to enjoy these kind of places. And uh, then, of course, like five minutes from Empoli, it's uh, Vinci, where uh, was born Leonardo da Vinci. Everything around Empoli, it's uh, really nice. So in city center, we have also nice uh, locations. Mm -hmm. 
Now we are in uh, Piazza, Piazza de Leoni. You can see the, the fountain with the lions. And also behind me is like the, the Domo that um, for many years was our logo. The lions, if I remember well, they are uh, also on uh, our Pullman. It's still uh, something that connects the club and the, and the city. You can see the passion that is between the, the people here in Empoli and, uh, and the club, you know, because everything that is in, uh, in the city center, maybe you can find it also on, uh, on the club, on the team. So, yeah, that means that the people here in Empoli are really connected to the, to the football team. In the end of the year, we need to create history because if we stay next year in Serie A, maybe you, you didn't know it, but uh, I will tell you now, it's going to be something that will stay forever in history. I hope we can give them this joy, this happiness, because they are really giving us a, a big support uh, every game. Known for its contemporary clothing that reflects the elegance of the city, the textile manufacturing sector of Empoli is the result of a strong Tuscan community. From stylists to model makers to tailors, these fashion artisans work in harmony with a meticulous attention to detail and a selection of distinctive premium fabrics. Some of the oldest clothing production centers are still in business and continue to hand down the secrets of a trade which, over the centuries, has turned their work into a real art that continues to lend class and style to its people. We can compare like the fashion with football, so I think the details make the difference also for uh, the way you are uh, dressed, you know, and the material, of course, if it has good details, good materials, they make, uh, they make the difference. Depends also on every coach, the way he wants to play football. Because some coaches, maybe they just want to defend, maybe they just want to attack, maybe some coaches, they try to find a balance between both. Match day, uh, it's nice also because uh, we're going from up from Monteboro where we have the training centers like 10-15 minutes to the stadium. And uh, when you see the fans that are coming to, to support us, they are giving me a lot of power and uh, positive energy to start the game and to, to play the game. È bellissimo. Grazie mille. La ringrazio tantissimo. Grazie, grazie a te. E auguri a te a te a tutto l'Empoli. When the game starts, the adrenaline that we have, you know, inside, we, we try to, to take it out, you know, to put it in uh, in the games. The fans here in uh, Empoli, they are really cool because uh, when they they see you outside uh, walking around with uh, with your family, they are leaving you alone, you know. Maybe they are asking just for a picture or something like that, but. Nothing else, they are not like going there on you and uh, I don't know, when you take dinner, when you go dinner with your family, they are not trying to disturb you, you know, they are just uh, giving you your time. And most of the time are uh, the kids that are coming to ask uh, pictures or autographs. So for me, it's also a big pleasure to make a kid happy because he will be maybe happy for uh, the rest of his life that he could uh, take a picture with uh, one football player. On the catwalk of its ancient history, Empoli parades its artistic heritage and famous traditions to an admiring audience as it shines and strides confidently towards a brilliant, innovative future. The best moment that I lived here in Empoli is, of course, last year when we knew that we are safe, you know, and that we stayed in, uh, in Serie A. Also the fans, they were happy, you know, we could give them that happiness, that joy of being another year in, uh, in Serie A. So I hope in the end of this year, we're going to enjoy it even more. Football, it's my passion. I can say only one word, everything. <laughs>